Hello, my darlings. It is your girl, Banshee's Heart, here with my another Nancy Drew Thursday. Um, my order of least favorite to most favorite games. We are on my third least favorite game, which is Alibi and Ashes. There's nothing particularly wrong with this game. I will say that. The one thing I did not like was the filler parts of it. Um, there wasn't, it didn't feel like very immersive to me. It kept feeling like it was breaking up because of the driving and otherwise it's a good game. Like it's a good premise. It's a good idea. I really enjoy the fact that, well, you'll see. So, and I'm really sad that we can't turn the light on and off because as we all know, everybody loves that. And without further ado, welcome to Nancy Drew Thursdays. This is Alibi and Ashes. If you like this type of content, please give my co please comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope we have a wonderful day. This anagram from the Clues Challenge says I should go check out the thermostat at the old town hall. So the Clues Challenge, it's that time of year again. Grab your pen and strap on your thinking caps. The Clue Challenge is on the way. Teams of up to six may compete in a week-long challenge. Teams of seven or more are allowed with a five-point penalty per extra team member, along with gaining the undying respect of the town puzzlers and finding and the finders of this year's hidden medallion will pres the finders of this year's hidden medallion will preside over the opening t of the town time capsule during the Anvil May closing ceremony. But wait, there's more. The leader of the women winning team will be allowed to place a personal item of his or her choosing in the next town time capsule. Sign up soon to tackle the challenge and have a rare chance to send a message far into the future. So these are our team numbers. We're the team leaders, so it's a team of four. And let's get going, y'all. Um, there we go. Let's do junior. At some point, I do have to play senior. But, uh, who's there? That's not good. Is that an ice cube? What's happening? Oh no, I've got to get out of here. Come on, open up. Oh, I'm trapped. The only way out is through that window. Okay, let's get going, Nancy. Because, you know, this isn't per precarious at all and super, super questionable, but you knows. Starts right off with a puzzle. It's a solid gameplay right here, y'alls. Okay. And I'm trapped. We have time to get out of here. I need to get out of here So, fast. we have to go... <laughs> Not that way. I think if we go... There they are. Nancy Drew, what made you decide to burn down the old town hall? I didn't. Who helped you? What do you mean work alone? I didn't do anything. Was this politically motivated? Of course not. I would never... Back off. No press until we take statements. Please state your name for the record. Nancy Drew. Where were you when the fire broke out? I was locked in the room where the fire started. What were you doing then? I was following a lead for the clues challenge. Was there anything strange about the way the fire was burning? The fire spread through the whole building in a matter of seconds. What was the color of the smoke? Black. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? There was a snowflake-shaped ice cube on the thermostat. Did you see anyone else at the scene before emergency crews arrived? Deirdre Shannon, Alexei Markovic, Tony Scolari, and Brenda Carlton. Do you believe someone intentionally started the fire? If so, who? It must have been one of the people at the scene of the fire. There you have it. A former hero and city icon. 
rendered speechless. And speechless is the word of the day as onlookers struggle to come to terms with the brazen destruction of the beloved town hall by none other than the girl detective they had once trusted their lives and livelihoods to. Truly a sad day for River Heights. With Heights 9 News, I'm Brenda Carlton. Back to you, Jim. I still can't believe that happened. You could have been really hurt. I know. It's lucky that no one else was there. Did you even see what started the fire? Yeah, it was really strange. There was this snowflake-shaped ice cube on the thermostat. Hang on. There's someone at the door. That's excessive. Hey, McGinnis. There's... My hands are tied here, Nancy. What are you talking about? Nancy Drew, you're under arrest for arson in connection with the town hall fire. I had nothing to do with that. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney. Nancy, I'm in jail. I really could use your help right about now. Please call me as soon as you can. Wait, I don't know if I can even get phone calls in here. I guess I'll keep trying you. When you get this message, don't freak out, okay? You don't need to book the next flight home. At least, not yet. I got a note telling me to go to town hall, and when I got there, it just burst into flames. They think I did it. I think this might be one of those situations where I can admit that I might need a little help. I guess I'd better get going now. I'll try you again soon. I should call my friends. There's Bess. Hello? Bess, it's Nancy. Nancy, what's going on? How are you? All right for now. I'm not going to be able to get out of here until I can prove that I'm not the one who set the fire. We'll do anything you need to help get you out. You're the best, Bess. Remember that wiki we were using for the clues challenge? The program George put on our phones, right? Right. Let's all use that to keep in touch. All case information and big clues should show up there. Good idea. There's something I need right away. Just name it. The reason I went to the town hall was because I was led there by a note. I need you guys to find that note and drop it off at the station for me. I think it might have fallen out of my pocket when I escaped the fire. Consider it done. Can you keep an eye on the house until I'm out? Way ahead of you. Since your dad and Hannah are out of town, we thought it would be best if George stayed at your place for the time being. How's Togo? Pretty upset. George's mom is taking care of him back at her place. Oh, good. Thank you so much. It's nothing. We're all here for you. Anything you need. I need you to take over. Bess, reporting for duty. I love Bess. Bess is so cute. Okay. This is the filler that I was talking about. Um, it's not horrible. It just... Eh, it is what it is. Like... This is the note that Nancy wants. You can't get way up there. That is crazy. I love Bess. Bess is so cute. Okay. The police department is... That's Scoop. That's the Drew residence. That's not it. I'm looking for... Is that it? That's it. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. I should call him Nancy. Were you able to find the note? Yes. Great. If you can put the note in the drop box at the police station, I'll pick it up and take over from there. You take the lead now. I'll take it from here. Listen, I'm just doing my job here, Nancy. But I don't see any need to keep you locked up. If you want to prove your innocence, I'm not going to stand in your way. This is a police station. Don't let me catch you messing with anything. Get me? Don't let me catch you. <laughs> One more thing. We've got an evidence board in the station we track cases with. If any compelling evidence were to show up regarding your case, I would consider taking a look. I love Chief McGinnis. You deal with him a lot. Or, well, Nancy deals with him a lot in the uh, books. And he's just a wonderful character. You know, something that you guys, like, if you... Okay. Interesting. Let's go over here. Oh. Let's see. We gotta find our stuff. There's a stuff. This is the case board. Track your case on it. You got enough to pin this on someone else? Push that button and give me a call. It would have been nice if they had focused on any other suspects. Yeah. Unfortunately. There's no card in here. Mm. I better not use this phone. Haven't done that. Did that. The fingerprint scanner. I need to find the password. Maybe it's somewhere around here. Oh, cool. We have a hint hotline here. I like how it's this trial version. About investigating arson. I'm on my way back from your Aunt Eloise's. I can't stand the thought of you being held by the police. What were they thinking arresting you? My flight doesn't arrive till late tonight, so I'm sending these power snacks until then. You'll need the energy in cracking the case. Of course, they have Cocoa Kringles yeah. in there. Mmm, yummy. McGinnis admitted that in the past, Nancy Drew would often help herself to confidential police info and interfere with ongoing investigations. Well, yeah. That's what Nancy does. You call it to say you lost the evidence locker key? Well, that's some great police work there, rookie. Well, I better listen in. Where'd you see it last? Pancake City. I don't recall Pancake City being part of your feet. Go find that key. I should send someone to Pancake City to find that key. Is there a lot of crime in Pancake City? There's never a wrong time for a couple of Pringle Bars. That's true. Nancy, what's up? I need your help finding a key. All right, what's the story? I need to get into the evidence locker. Detective Ryan lost his key. I need one of you guys to find it. Any idea where we should look? Yes, try checking out Pancake City. Sure thing. I need you to take over. I'm on the case. Okay, let's go to Pancake City. It's the antique stop. Here's Pancake City. Pizza Plaza. Airport. Pancake City, there it is. I'm gluten intolerant. I can't have it. I think you said he was going to Mabel Roses. Yeah, it's one of those puzzles. Questionable puzzles. Puzzles. Um, Mabel Roses. We gotta look for those like uh, it's Finley. It's a cemetery. Fane home. Marvin. Mm, 
police station. Zool. Drew. Law offices. Scoop. Dance Academy. Anvil. Harrison Park. Airport. Mall. Okay, let's just go section by section. So. This is the town hall. This is the park. Airport. Scoop. River Heights. Mm -hmm. Zoo. Mm -hmm. Schoolyard. There's Mabel Roses. Brian, I think he went to the antique shop. And here's the antique shop. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh! Oh no! How will you be paying for the base you broke? Um, I don't know if I can afford it. I don't like you. You break things. I'm sorry. Oh, did you hear that vase? She's sorry that you made the long trek from China to Europe where you survived two world wars and countless natural disasters. Only to be unceremoniously <laughs> kicked to death by some space cadet for no reason! Not that that matters now that you are dead! I'm sorry, it was an accident. I didn't do that. Oh, well, if it was an accident, then I'm a man. Really? I thought your generation was supposed to be good with sarcasm. Scram, kid! Give me some space to mourn! Do us both a favor and stay out! Yeah. Hi, George. Okay, Nancy really needs us. We're going to have to work together. Don't forget, we're not alone. Even though Nancy can't get out to help us, she's still working the case. We need to make sure we're getting her the evidence that she needs. If we get stuck, it might be good to check in with Nancy to see how she's doing. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello? I'm passing the case to you. Nancy Drew, taking over. Hello? George, it's Nancy. Nancy! What's going on? How are you? All right, for now. I'm not going to be able to get out of here until I can prove that I'm not the one who set the fire. We'll do anything you need to help get you out. I need you to take over. I'm on the case. Okay, so you should be good to go in the antique shop. I might need this. It's for free. New arrival. If y'all know where that is, what what that's from, we can automatically be friends. Okay. Salutations. Have you seen Detective Ryan? The 12 year old cop? Yeah, he's been here. He, he left something behind. Did he leave it behind to torment me? Possibly not. Is it tormenting me? Yes, yes, it is. I and like Alexi. The last thing out, it's on the new arrival shelf. What's the story with this alarm key? I have never seen that in my life. I found it right here. I don't know how it got there. I had nothing to do with this pyre. Nothing. I'm not going through this again with you people. Once is enough. What do you mean? After all I've gone through, you want to hang me out to dry again. Well, it's not going to happen. You got it? Get out of my store. What? Why? I said leave. Okay, Alexi. We'll do so. 
Detective Ryan brought in something pretty strange. There's a key under there. Okay, my darlings. With that, we are stopping, and I will see you uh, next Thursday for part two. And if you like, please, if you enjoyed this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, my loves.